So I'm somewhere out in Wisconsin at the moment. I uh, got a full tank of gas, which is nice. Last night I ended up sleeping at a rest stop on the side of the road and it said like no overnight camping, but I looked at the rules online and it basically meant no camping in the sense of like setting up a, a tent and, and doing it with that method. So I just went to Walmart, spent like 300 bucks, got all the things that I needed that I didn't have. And uh, I got a nice piece of steak for later and some onions and some other cheese Danish, a couple things like that too. But I need it like, Honestly, it's kind of getting cold at night to where like I have a little blanket, but I needed another blanket just because it's just cold enough. So I, I bought a blanket and I bought this like um, armchair pillow thing so I can sit up easier in the back of the truck when I want to like look at videos and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to go to Mall of America. Right now I'm going to Black River State Forest. I'm going to see if I can do some, um, cook some breakfast there. I don't know what it's like. I don't really want to do it at the Walmart parking lot here. I'm still all super congested, but I do feel a little bit better. Every day I feel a little bit better so far. And basically I'm gonna be headed up to North Dakota. Um, I'm going to Minnesota, North Dakota. I'll probably get through those states today. So see what I can do. So I ended up going to another park so I'd have to pay. So I went to Rock Springs Park. So I'll show you that. Apparently they have a memorial disc golf course. That's pretty neat. Got some breakfast going this morning. Some leftover biscuits from the other day, a couple pancakes that my kids didn't eat. And then I got some, some uh, hash brown scramble over here with some bacon and I cooked up an egg. Got that. <clears throat> Got some freeze-dried coffee. If you've never had freeze-dried coffee, it's really good. Just add hot water to it. So that's it. That's what I'm having for breakfast today at this park. Had this nice gentleman stop by. He's uh, emptying the garbage cans and just looking like he's one of the maintenance guys here in town. And we talked to her about 10 minutes or so, asked him where to go in Wisconsin. He told me um, the Theodore National Park. So I had to go check that out, so it's really good. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt National Park. So I'm gonna check that out. It's a funny thing, he asked me where I'm from. I told him Connecticut. And he said that his, sister, his um, daughter lives in, uh, I think he said 30 minutes north of Poughkeepsie, New York. So not far from where I live, maybe an hour and 20 minutes or so. But uh, I told him, you know, he asked me what I'm doing with this whole trip and everything. And I said, look, I told him kind of my story and everything and uh, explained that, you know, it's, uh, it's to go to places like this park, to meet people like yourself. I, I told him all these different things, to see nature. Little moth. Yeah, I don't know. Just gonna have some nice breakfast this morning. I finished up over here at the little park, had my breakfast, uh, kind of sat around, planned out kind of what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna start driving to the Minnehaha Falls, Minneapolis. Um, it looks like it's two hours, 13 minutes roughly. I'll get there around 1, 1 1.15, somewhere in that time frame, 145 miles or so. So we'll see what that's all about. Looks like a good stop along the way. I uh, don't think there's too much else I'm interested in the state with, but uh, I grabbed some cheese yesterday that was really tasty. And uh, I've got a, a block of it in the back I'm going to bite into later on as well. i, I got to get some crackers. I went to Walmart. I, I bought a bunch of stuff, and I still got to go back and get some other things that I forgot, like olive oil for marinating my steak. So, all right, we'll take care. We'll see where we get. Things escalated quickly. I'm in a downpour right now, but they uh, they need it because the waterfall here is very low. All the water is, is low. They're in a drought in the area. No surprise there. So I 
just hit North Dakota <clears throat> a couple minutes ago. And I gotta say, it's absolutely beautiful out here. And the thing I like the most about the last couple hour drive is um, that it's not developed. It's just like you look out and you just see for as long as you look, there's nothing there at all. It's, it's really cool. I like it a lot. So I made it to the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. I'm in the Cottonwood campground area. It's a $14 a day and uh, I'm right along the river. Let me show you around. Yep, here we are. 14 bucks a night. Beautiful. The river's light. The river is right over here as well. Look at that fella in the distance. Yeah, this place is great. The craziest thing is the amount of grasshoppers. Like, watch when I... They're everywhere. And the, the park ranger, super nice guy, he, he set me up over in this area here. And he was telling me this is the second wave of them. But yeah, this is just beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. The East Coast is pretty good, but there's like, this is just amazing to me. So tonight I'm having a steak with onion, potatoes, and broccoli. So my cast iron skillet out. Some potatoes boiling. I'm gonna cook that up first. Then I'm gonna steam the. Um, well, I'm not gonna steam it. I don't have the steaming tray, but I'm gonna boil some broccoli. And then I'm basically gonna dump the potatoes in the pan with the onions so they'll get some good flavor. And then once that's all cooked up, then I'll throw the steak on. So I got a nice um, prime ribeye from, from Big Y the other day. Not Big Y, Walmart. So I'm gonna have that tonight for dinner. The flies here are ridiculous. The grasshoppers here are re relentless. Um, but there's a beautiful breeze right now. And so it's kind of blowing them away. <laughs> Tonight should be interesting. Last night I had some mosquitoes coming in through the front door. I didn't finish the door yet, top. So I had some mosquitoes coming in through there. <coughs> Still not over whatever I have. I am enjoying a nice cold beer today. First one I've had in, uh, I think about a week now. Because, you know, when I'm at truck stops and stuff, I don't really want to, I don't, it's just not something I want to have any alcohol. It's kind of like, probably not the smartest thing to do anyway so all right let's see how the food comes out i think it's gonna be pretty good this is beautiful beautiful area here it's absolutely stunning i've never seen anything like this and i've been all over the east coast the white mountains are always going to be a favorite part of my life but this is just something else so i hooked up the awning uh, kind of a pain to set up by myself but we got it done Steak marinade with Montreal steak seasoning, a little <coughs> olive oil, some uh, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce. That's basically it. And I got some broccoli over there as well. So this should be awfully tasty. I haven't had lunch yet. It's uh, I think it's like 1:30, something like that. I'm just gonna hang out, read a book, sit around. I'm looking forward to just doing nothing for the rest of the afternoon. Having a couple beers. Um, yeah, just this is so such a cool trip for me. This is really awesome. Butterfly. I've just never seen anything like this. This is just insane.
Yum, yum, yum. All right, steak's coming along. Pretty thick cut, but it's uh, looking tasty. Hopefully I can get it cooked to like a medium. That's how I like it. All right, so I got dinner and I got some leftovers for tomorrow. Excellent.